Hey everybody, I'm here with the M240i on a Saturday morning. We're gonna do a quick life hack pro tip on installing a SunPass sticker on the sunroof. Let's do it. All right, everybody, let's talk about what we're doing here today. Uh, multiple states use the SunPass as a transponder for charging you tolls. Basically, you know, everybody's going cashless, coinless. So what the deal is, is you stick one of these on your, uh, usually up here on your windshield, and then uh, an RF transmitter, transponder, picks up the signal from this and they charge your, your plate. Easy enough, right? The problem is you're gonna end up with a big, ugly green sticker on your front windshield. So driving around here in Florida, I see everybody has this green sticker. You know, after doing some research on the internet, I learned, hey, the transponder actually works if you put it up here on the sunroof. So on my previous car, I put it on the sunroof. Easy enough, and uh, it works really well. Um, you'll find though, a couple of things. One is if you go to sell the car, or you trade in the car, you basically have to get a new sticker. It's only $5, no big deal. And in fact, on my last couple of cars, I just kind of left them on the cars and then canceled it uh, when I sold them and let the new owner figure it out, but they won't be use, able to use the transponder. But in this particular car, I may eventually get the sunroof uh, tinted, you know, ceramic tinted, which means if I put this on here now to use it for a little while, when I go to get it tinted, I'll, you know, lose the, the transponder. So what I'm going to do is use a window cling. So I'm going to put a window cling piece up here first and then stick the transponder to that. And in theory, later on, if I need to peel it off, I can peel it off and not waste it and just put the window cling uh, back on after I get it tinted. So that's the general plan. And as you can also see, I've covered up my personally identifiable information to keep anybody from coming to kidnap me or trying to use my sun pass. Um, I've been told that's a good idea. So we'll, you know, so please don't come kidnap me. Um, all right, now let's talk about the window clings. Window clings, you know, basically what it is, it's, this is about a postcard size piece of uh, clear transparent film that's removable and it has a paper backing on it. You know, basically, these are things that as a kid, you probably had these and you would uh, you could draw on them, paint on them, and put them on your windows. Uh, so I've kind of, uh, we can take a quick look at what these look like. Here, actually, this is this is one of them. So, as you can see, it's about a postcard size. This is the clear side. This is the paper backing. So, as you can see, it was about they're about half, double the size that I would need for the window cling. So we'll just cut it in half and put the window cling on first, and then put on the uh, sun pass. All right, now let's talk about the window clings. Window clings, you know, basically what it is, it's, this is about a postcard size piece of uh, clear transparent film that's removable and it has a paper backing on it. You know, basically, these are things that as a kid, you probably had these and you would, uh, you could draw on them, paint on them and put them on your windows. Uh, so I've kind of, uh, we can take a quick look at what these look like. Here, actually, this is this is one of them. So, as you can see, it's about a postcard size. This is the clear side. This is the paper backing. So, as you can see, it was about they're about half, double the size that I would need for the window cling. So we'll just cut it in half and put the window cling on first, and then put on the uh, sun pass. Now. I'm gonna to try to do this without gloves. You know, how, you know how when you touch a piece of tape, you get your fingerprints on the back. Uh, gloves are a little inconvenient. I didn't have a pair of like surgical gloves or rubber gloves today. So I think I can get this done without it. So I'm gonna put it in the back corner here because I don't like to look at the sticker. If you put the sticker here or here, you know, you're gonna see it all the time when you look up here, you know, and, and who wants to do that, you know? So we're gonna put it back there kind of why I'm sitting in the passenger seat today. It's easier to see that area. So it looks like this one is actually already sort of peeling. 
As you can see, this is the clear side. This is the paper side. So let's see if I'm going to screw this one up on the first pass. There, who knows? There may be a cut in here. If, uh, but right, easy. Now we're gonna see how this goes. And so, yeah, this is actually a pretty thick material. Definitely very much like a window cling that you're gonna remember from your childhood here. And it doesn't have to be perfectly in the corner, it just has to be kind of behind me, so. And I can tell that this will be the kind that does peel off pretty easily. Which is exactly what I want. Now, there's gonna be bubbles. But that's okay for the moment. Well, maybe not so okay. Let's see what we're gonna do. So we're gonna well, we're gonna go back to this. And you see they gave us some kind of a squeegee here. Let's see how this goes. And it did go on a little bit crooked here, but it might not be crooked enough to mess with, so. So I'm gonna take the squeegee and hopefully this is showing up on the camera here. I'm using a head-mounted GoPro, so I can't really see the image. But, and it's really hot and humid in here today. But let's see what we're doing. I'm trying to get this one section here. Actually, you know what? Pretty solid. There might be a couple little bubbles in there, but some of these little bubbles, they'll dissipate on their own. And I can sit here, I can sit here with a squeegee and just kind of do that. But the whole point here is that this comes off easily and I can already tell that it will just peel right off if I want to peel it off. The sun, the sticker does not peel right off. So there you go. You can kind of barely see it and I'm sure you'll even be able to see it less as time goes okay now let's look at the sun pass sticker the sun pass sticker you know as you can see they kind of pre-cut you a corner here to make this real easy so this is actually going to peel off without much issue at all and there you know there's a course of decision to make here do you want to go this way do you want to go that way and honestly neither matters so I'm not really going to even overthink. I'm not really even going to overthink that. I got to remember to keep this high or the camera doesn't catch it. Okay. Peel the backing off. So this is what you would see on the other side. You see this big green sticker, which my car is blue. Big green stickers don't really look very good. So let's just try to make it as squared and sort of centered as we can. Boom. It's a done deal, you see? And I'll peel that blue uh, sticker off with the personally identifiable information to avoid getting kidnapped. But as you can see, that's it. Now I got the Sun Pass sticker. Only the helicopters flying above me can see the big ugly green uh, sticker. And uh, the front windshield remains clear of green stickers. And that's it, you know? Simple, simple, simple. Go on Amazon, get yourself some, some window clings. Get yourself the $5 Sun Pass sticker. This is just a shot of the Sun Pass on the window. As you can see, I didn't get too many bubbles actually. It looks pretty good. And that's it guys. Uh, thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day.